just sorting this out, it seems that hmm, is this a good enough mount? Maybe if I do this, we've got one viewer already, nice to see. Just trying to adjust this real quick. Mate, get the fuck down. <laughs> Be loud. Yeah, I've just swore on loud. Do you want me to get off? Fucking loud. Get her out. Come on. To be honest, I'll probably go down with her now. Right. Leave something in the chat if you just see me swear. <laughs> <laughs> the cat has an obsession with the fish tank, as all cats do. But Minx especially decided to unhook the external canister filter. Um, which I've now fixed and I have sealed tightly now to make sure that she can't do that again. Um, hey Arnold, nice to see you. I'm not sure if you've just seen me swear at the cart. <laughs> I hope no one did, but I think someone did. I said there was a viewer. I've just done some maintenance on the tank. I'm going to be doing an update video this week on the tank. Um, keep postponing it. I don't know why. Uh, why does it look so misty? Maybe it's the lighting, I don't know. Oh, I think it's because it's trying to adjust to me. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Um, how's everyone doing anyway? How are we all doing? You don't need to be quiet. Jump up this way, see if it's any better. Will it flicker? No, the other way. No, that, look, that looks way better. Does it? Yeah. See the other light, that's gone. Yeah, that light's gone. Um, how's everyone, how's everyone's day going? Mine is going, well, it's been a busy day, in all honesty. Um, went and picked up some shrimp earlier. Um, well, here's the thing, you subscribe to me. So I don't know if he's watching. Um, oh, there's AV, nice to see you, AV. Um, so... Um, <clears throat> I'll I'll do a story time when there's a couple more people in here about where I got my cherry shrimp from today. I got 11 for £10, which is a really good deal, in my opinion. Yeah, good, mate. Uh, been water changing, lol. Picked up a bit. Dual cichlids are great. Um, definitely, I, I keep saying everything's on the bucket list. When I have my own fish room and YouTube is paying me enough, um, she isn't even paying me at all yet, but... If it starts paying me good money, then I'll set up my own fish room and have many fish. But until then, <clears throat> not happening. If you bear with me a sec, I'm just going to plug in my charger. Make sure the demon doesn't come in, by the way. Yeah. Although you've locked yourself in the room. You want to put it in over there? Hey, King. <laughs> Yes, um, AV or Aaron, um, his name's actually Arnold, I'm not sure if you know, but yeah, um, just plugging in the charger at the minute, if I can, um, what one can I pull, we don't need that one on, we can have the canister filter on for now. It'll do its job. Oh, we may have to change how the setup is. This, this, this is what happens when you set up in your girlfriend's and um, it's a very DIY setup. I'm using a tripod that I got as a freebie from Timu. Yes, my information's probably been stolen by a company, but... That is my own doing, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're just going to have to set up like this, aren't we? If this will work. I'm going to have to move it even closer. Great. Okay. I think... I think that's all good. I 
we, I'll, I'll reiterate the word think. You can compare to um, other live streams. You can tell that this is definitely not the most professional. Um, as I started the live stream by swearing at a cat, and then obviously now I you can tell that. Well, it was planned. It's just the issue is. Oh, why is it vibrating? Don't vibrate. Okay. Right, we're there now. I think we're there. If you can get a bit of the tank, get a bit of me, I'll probably sit here until it charges up more. Right, there you go. Um, <clears throat> I think I can see it. Spent most of the beginning of the last stream faffing around, but yeah. Um, Today I picked up some cherry shrimp. I picked up 11. We've got four people in. Nice to see four people in the live at the moment. Um, picked up some cherry shrimp from a lovely guy named Tom of Gumtree. He was charging £1 a cherry shrimp and yeah, he was great. Um, but the story that I was going to tell is I'm unsure. I, I cannot confirm this, but Tom may be a vicar, uh, which is... Very interesting. Um, I think the building was next door to the church. Um, but yeah, he was a lovely gent. We had a bit of a chat about um, how he's been uh, breeding shrimp. He's just got some Medeca rice fish as well. So they're going to be hopefully breeding and he'll be selling them as well as a little um, a little hobby. Nice to see you, Sam. Spudica, nice to see you. Um, we're on the, whatever this is, my girlfriend got me this. Uh, Western Gold Street Old Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey Cola, whatever this is. Uh, so we're having a bit of a relaxed live, a um, bit of a bootleg setup. I have got a tripod that is flimsy as hell, although I do have my gimbal here, but it makes a very high pitch uh, squeaking noise. So, and I've also had some balancing issues with it recently, but yeah, this is a, another result of Timu shopping. Will I invest in a better gimbal in the future? Probably, but again, uh, that's when I'd probably start getting paid. Uh, get pissed, eat the fish. Um, I think the PG rating on this has gone out the window on it. Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, cat jumped up on it moments ago, but yeah, update on this tank. Uh, the cat undone the filter, got stuck in it, I think. Um, so, me and my girlfriend, we walked into... The kitchen uh, with it it wasn't flooded thankfully it was the intake tube so just a little bit of water come out and then that was it so we're very lucky that it wasn't the outtake tube otherwise we would have had water pumping all over the kitchen so i have temporarily well not temporarily i have now fixed that i heated up the tubing with a hair dryer and i've tightened it as tight as possible i'm probably going to seal it as well to make sure that there is no more further issues with that um more than i don't want to show too much of the tank because i'm going to leave that for the update but um yeah basically my corridors have been breeding as well so the little bottom dwelling catfish in my main tank at home which um again is getting upgraded very soon if you don't know that already <clears throat> and yeah they've been laying eggs all day long so I've been scraping them off the glass and putting them in a breeding container. I put an air stone in there earlier as well. So we will find out if um, that has any effect on if the breed or not. The cat's trying to get in. But yeah. She's trying to get in. Yeah, basically, I know that the cat's trying to get in because you can hear it pulling up the carpet and trying to rip it up. Yeah, so Minx is a menace to society, so that is um, our little debrief on the cat. How's everyone's evening or night doing or wherever you are in the world? How's it going? You looking fuming at the cat. Tell you what, she pushes my limits, mate. Honestly, I love her, but she is a little, a 
know the PG rating's already gone out the window already, but yeah, she's a little demon. Um, but she can be cute. But yeah, she's never seen fish before, so I guess we can't blame her too much on being intrigued by them. Um, but yeah, the tank has grown in and matured massively. Nice to see you, Lewis. Yeah, the tank, the tank has matured massively. Just done a massive water change on it as well. Um, nice to see you, JT Fish Keeping. Or JT Keeping Fish. I got that wrong way round. You can tell even when I've got my glasses on, I cannot see nothing. Is your filter strong enough to... Um... That is an interesting question, to be honest. I don't think any filter is strong enough to fix that, really, I'll be honest with you. Um, filters, jobs are just kind of, you know, get the particles out of the water and um, make water flow, really, and keep in the beneficial bacteria. So when it comes to someone urinating or as you said, pissing in the tank. I don't think there's any filter that can sort that. Um, talking about things like that, I believe I seen a person, I seen a report on TikTok last night that there was a place in Windsor or somewhere down south in the UK. Someone had gone into the trop, like tropical aquarium shop and poured bleach in one of the discus tanks, which was awful. I don't know why anyone would do that. Like. What would motivate someone to just kill a bunch of animals for no reason? I don't know. It's safe to say, keep fish in the bathtub. I think that's Matty. Nice to see you. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see you, JT. Um, it was nice seeing you in your live last time. Um, I am streaming directly through YouTube. Probably going to try Streamlabs. Um, I have set up a Streamlabs account um, on my phone, so I'll be able to have like overlays and stuff like that, but obviously I'm recording off my phone, I'm streaming off my phone, I'm making shorts and editing videos off my phone, so it's all kind of on a budget set up until obviously I get a better PC and then a camera and then the list goes on and things that I could upgrade on and improve on. Um, yeah, I'm good, mate. Been busy day, mate. It's got a pair of... Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for subscribing, Matty. Uh, shout out to dogs, La. Uh, yeah, shout out to dogs. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, if you're wondering where this T-shirt's from, I used to do a bit of modelling and um, a company called Isolated Clothing like sent this out, but... Yeah, not sponsored by them, so that is a little plug for them. Um, but yeah, how's everyone's evening anyway? Um, any updates on your fish? Any updates on any projects, fish keeping and stuff like that? Any questions about the hobby as well? Um, yeah. I'm going to be honest, lads. If you're gonna join in and like mess around, like I do, I do love you and appreciate you joining in. But if you're gonna start like throwing random stuff in the chat, I don't really want you in here. That's as blunt as honest as possible. But yeah, anyways, um, moving on. If you've got any like fish keeping related questions and stuff like that, like uh, put them in the chat, please. Going shopping for a ton of boosts and fish on the weekend. Booster philandra is definitely my favourite epiphyte plant. Um, I've got some of it in this tank here. I'm going to get loads and put it on my new tank or on the rocks and wood. Um, definitely one of my favourite epiphyte plants. It's just obviously it's very, it's very prone to getting algae or black bearded algae in. Yeah, um, JT, these are my... A couple of them, my friends, and they're showing support by being in here, but obviously they're throwing, you know, stupid questions in. I actually want a genuine question, by the way. How do you get um, mods? I, I want to know. I've had people come in and offer to be mods in the past, but um, I'd like people to, you know, moderate the chat. You know, if you get any random people. I know, like, when you stream vertically, you end up in YouTube shorts. So I always have, like... Well, I don't always, but every now and again, you'll get the odd person saying, like, 
sue like Ronaldo or like you know the bye bye meme the show show all these weird like comments that I find funny but yeah I'll give you a five as a beer mod um <laughs> again I, I don't know how you do it uh, so say if you click on my name there's an option to be a moderator hmm oh wow yeah there is um Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna give some moderate moderator access to some people in here. Why not? The people that I feel deserve to be mods. There you go. And yeah, since you're now moderators, if you could do a job, and since um, you know, there's been a weird comment in the chat do if you could uh, do a cool job in removing that i've gave you i'll be a mod but you can't trust me right Bloody hell, we're getting everyone's family, friends, loved ones in this live at the minute. A very uh, busy live. You, you probably don't know who I am. Um, yeah, so I think I've gave a um, moderator. Yeah, there you go. Nice to see. Right, I've gave you mod access. Um, so I don't know if you want to be permanent mods. You can be, um, but... If you want to moderate the chat and um, get some things going, since you're a moderators at the minute, if you could do me a favour and um, put in the chat AVScape's uh, YouTube channel link in here, uh, get some people subscribing to him. He wants to reach 200 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, so whilst we're here now, obviously my phone's charged up slightly, so I'm going to unplug it, as you can see, by the way. This is the setup. I've got the phone is leaning on the cat tower. So there you go. Oh, very much appreciate that. There you go. AV is now a moderator and hit. Yeah, everyone's putting AV scapes here. Uh, YouTube link in. Wow, we've got 15 people in here. What's going on, guys? Uh, th this is crazy. Um, I feel really bad because this is one of the most bootleg setups. Right. I'll show you what I've got. So I've got my gimbal here, I've been filming earlier, but that is the tripod that I'm filming. It's so flimsy. I brought this because I wanted to test it out. I've realized it's awful. Um, I've got better tripods. I've ordered a new one that can be like as high as the tank because I'm going to be filming obviously my new tank setup. But this is flimsy as hell. Gimbal's great, but there's the tank. Let's focus on the tank. Uh, yeah, I mean... You can't get any more DIY than this, can you, really? Like, it's humble beginnings, in it, guys? Like, we, we, we'll get there in the end, but I'll give you a little update, update for the people that don't know what's happened with the tank. So, yeah, um, the Tropica Aquasaur that I've used as a base layer, the fertilizer, underneath the sand substrate, um, it is grown at plants, amazing look at the reds on them no co2 no liquid fits we'll be adding liquid fertilizer later on um but yeah as you can probably hear my girlfriend's trying to get in because the handle's Sorry. battered um this has been taken off it's sending lily pads to the surface the valison area in the background is taken off as well Please the cryptocorns is all great i'm not gonna get you in um, Cryptocorn's doing great. I have added my Pandagora from my main tank into here, and he is loving life. He was being a aggressive little bugger in the main tank, um, territorial, probably because he'd lived in the tank the longest, but he's doing a good job right now, uh, keeping the diatoms and the algae down in here. Um, that is a Pandagora, Josh. But yeah, this this is um, the, new, the, the latest tank that I've set up. I've set it up on my girlfriend's, as you can tell with the cat tower, with the cat roaming around and all the chaos in the background. Um, but the inhabitants in here, we have six pencil fish. Thought you locked your girlfriend in the cupboard then. 
Yeah, that's a that's a funny comment. Um, I mean, if you if you keep make if Minx keeps making rackets, she might end up in the cupboard. But then I think everyone will report me for animal cruelty. To be honest, cats have no bones, so she'll fit through that hole. Um, yeah, so we have pencil fish in here, six of them. Going to be adding two more, um, just because the males are being slightly aggressive. This is the um, dominant male, as you can tell, he's really colourful. Um, we also have two dwarf cichlids in here. I think the male's hiding in the corner. Yeah, look at him, he's looking for food right now. Having a little nosy round, he's stunning. Female, I've, I haven't seen too much. I think I can see her. She's just hiding behind the rock. So they've dug out an area in the back here and um, they've started to... Oh, there she is. Moderators. But yeah, um, they've dug out a hole underneath the rock and they've done a great job at uh, making a mess of the tank. As you can see, there is sand all over the... Cryptocorns around the tank and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, they're settling in nicely. I've done a big water change today. So obviously I fixed the canister filter. It's flowing perfectly. Um, there is an internal super fish filter that come with this. It's a kit. Um, so you get the light, you get the heater, you get the filter. You also get a net and I think you get tap safe and biological... Um, biological. Oh, I forgot the name of it, but but whatever it's called, you you know the name of it. Someone correct me in the the chat. Um, right there you go. Um, I'm doing the job of moderating as well, uh, just for the fact that I can't be bothered. Um, the lighting in the tank's great. Yeah, the light on here is amazing. Um, I don't know if it's too bright, to be honest. It's just a standard kit. However, I will give props to Superfish. All the lighting that you get with Superfish tanks is absolutely amazing. And it's like as close to high end as you can be without paying the extra price. But as you can see, the Boosa Flandra, it's doing great. It's growing in well. Um, Pandagora is blocking the way, but there is like little caves dug out here and there where the cichlids have been living. Um, again, the females hiding in the back. Um, so the dynamic between the the dynamic between the two cichlids originally, the male was chasing the female, beating her up and ripping her fins. Then it switched round and the female started attacking the male and ripping his fins. But now they've um, found peace with one another and dug a hole out underneath the rock so they're probably going to be breeding soon which is cool and um, there is also a bulldog pleco in here thank you very much jt for um th this is cool to have mods i haven't had any mods in the past but um i think it's definitely the way forward in the future for what i'm going to be doing obviously on the lives if i can show you properly is there any way for me to show you there is a bulldog pleco somewhere. I can see it. Right. Can you see that? You can see it. Yeah, there it is. That thing, right... If my camera... Right. That thing there is the pleco. But if you're a pleco keeper, you can definitely... Um, definitely know for sure that plecos are nocturnal and they don't like being out in the light um i appreciate this uh, mods can be useful if you have good ones that are trusted some people can hand out mods to everyone but i'm quite picky um yeah well to be honest i think like i trust you because i know you do lives yourself jt or jack sorry i keep calling you jt it's a habit i call av av but his name's aaron i call kings i call arnold kings can you show the cat where is she She's been locked away. Is she out there? People are asking for her. Please don't show them. Oh my no, it's fine. She's a celebrity. Where is she? Not me, though. Oh, here she is. She blends in with, <laughs> she blends in with the dark, yeah. <laughs> Showfish. Right. That, that's the cat cameo for the night. Um, 
close the door now. Anyways, um, man, I'm going to have to head out of here. Wind turbines went down. Yeah, no problem. Aaron, I'll uh, speak to you later on Instagram. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to check out AV Escapes. He's after 200 subscribers by the end of the month. With myself, I've recently hit 550 subscribers. So we've jumped up within the past week by around, if I'm right in saying, um, we've jumped up by over 100, I think. Um, get your girlfriend to give a... Yeah, well, I was actually speaking to her and... Um, JTO Jack's fine. Um, five, five, six. That's cool. Actually, we've went up by four subscribers since the live started. I mean, it's been a bit manic. I think everyone's like had a bit of fun. Obviously, you've had the trolls come in and maybe they're just family friends and stuff like that as well. Um, literally, Pootie Pie Fish smashing it. Um, not quite there yet, but one day I could be. Uh, but until then, um, I'm going to stay humble because I think... Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm nowhere near there yet. Although, I'll be honest, uh, the growth, we've massively like jumped up and subbed in the past few months. Um, I appreciate everyone meeting people like yourself, Jack, meeting Arnold, meeting AV as well. AV, um, again, like I give him props because although he's smaller, he started maybe a month or two after myself and we've done the collab on the fishbowl setup. If uh, one of the mods can put in the chat shrimp bowl uh, tank setup i think a uh, shrimp bowl setup it's on the channel anyway if you could drop that in the chat and um, that was a collab between myself and av scapes um, he messaged me and met me through instagram and he said i live in canada but i used to live in the uk not so far away from liverpool um, and he said that he was going to visit his dad so we planned a shrimp bowl setup, and yeah, the shrimp bowl's thriving at the moment. Um, we've had a couple deaths, but the shrimp have basically passed away because I've had them for around two years. So there were a couple blue dreams that have passed away. It's unfortunate, but it's part of the hobby. Um, and yeah, they, they basically just died of old age. So today I bought 10 shrimps, um, cherry shrimp and they were 10 pound i actually got 11 though as a little bonus so thank you to tom if you are watching this or if you're watching the replay he's a lovely gentleman and um, got to meet him today unsure if he is a vicar if you are um you've gave me some uh, great quality shrimp and i appreciate the bargain um did i give them a funeral you know what i didn't i didn't give them a funeral um i done something that a guy called father fish does if a fish dies they tend to bury the dead in like fish or shrimp into the substrate and use it as like fertilizer for plants. So I I won't do that on my main tank, but I thought it's a little ecosphere ecosystem. So what what harm could it do? Um, nice to see you, Isaac. By the way, another person that gave me a shout out a couple of weeks ago. Appreciate you being in here. I gave him a shout out in return. Thanks for joining in, Nolan. Uh, do you know anything about salamanders? I believe salamanders, aren't they, like, very closely related to um, axolotls? Or apparently there's this thing where if an axolotl is in, like, bad condition, it can become a salamander. I don't know how true that is. I'm not a lizard or amphibian keeper. I'm more so just shrimp, fish. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of how my channel is. Have I watched Nemo? Um, yeah, I've watched Nemo. I think uh, a lot of people have. Here's a film. Everyone put in the chat. Have you watched it? Put a poll in the chat, one of the mods, if you're able to do that. Uh, put, has, have you watched Help, I'm a Fish? And let's see how many people have um, watched Help, I'm a Fish. Uh, you can't put polls in the chat. Okay, I think I can. So let me, let me start a poll. Have... You watched help. I'll put that help. I'm a fish. Right, let's see what people are saying. 
Oh, nice to see you, Joseph. Another person that gives me ongoing support all the time, commenting on my shorts, watching my videos. I very much appreciate you being in here right now. My old flatmates used to be obsessed with... You know what? That was like... I, I, I loved Nemo. I loved Disney films. I loved... Um, oh, what? Shark Tale as well. But uh, Help, I'm a Fish is a great film if you haven't watched it. No. Wow. So we've got quite a lot of people that haven't watched it. If you've got a young child um, and or like a niece or nephew or a little cousin, and obviously if you haven't got the patience to sit there and watch a kid's film as a grown adult, I definitely recommend watching it. Um, oh, there we go. We've got Gert from uh, South Africa. That's nice to see you in here. Um, you messaged me the other day asking if I'd... Um, got a live coming up and here i am in uh, very disorganized yeah i'm getting a haircut tomorrow as well you can see all the great come through and becoming an old man um but yeah we've got some great content on the way i visited um maidenhead aquatics car farm i believe it's called they sell they specialize in pond fish so this shop tour is going to be really cool if you've seen my shorts already there's been some really nice giant koi fish how old am i i am 24 jt i i, I keep calling you JT. i was gonna call you a name but i don't know why um do i have salt water tanks i'd love to keep salt water tanks um of course obviously if i start earning off youtube then it'd be um really helpful to um you know, obviously, if we can reach a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I think the possibility of that and the motivation to obviously start saving up and setting up multiple tanks. Obviously, I'm getting a new tank replacing my old one that I've had for the past five years. Um, it's an upgrade by 33 litres, but I will be getting some salt water. Um, speaking to Andy, the owner of Something Fishy, he was a uh, really helpful in describing on how affordable salt water can be if you do it in the right way have i got a fish tattoo i'd like to keep uh, keep one i'd like to have one but i think i've got a dinosaur one i have a dragon i have a halo energy sword an eagle a cog music note yeah uh, i got most of my tattoos when i was around 18 from 18 to 20 then lockdown hit and then i got the rest of my sleeve finished um so I actually, funny enough, JT, I started turning grey when I was 19. Um, but I'll be honest with you guys, rather, rather be grey than bald. So I'll, 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 uh, I'll own the grey hair. And if we've got Lewis still in the chat, his friend, every time he sees me, says he likes the salt and pepper look. And he doesn't understand that I'm not actually dyeing my hair. I'm just going grey. Um, but yeah. How many tanks am I going to end up with? You know what, mate? If I could set up a studio... Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Gert. Um, I actually do wear my glasses quite a lot, but when I'm filming videos and I've got my ring light, you just see two circles of light in my glasses. Um, my shirt, to be honest, I don't know. It was sent out to me by a clothing brand when I used to do some modelling, like, um, a year or two ago. It was just, like... A cool t-shirt so i'm just wearing it because uh, i've been doing a lot of fish tank maintenance so i needed something that i weren't too fussed about getting dirty to be honest a li i recommended a simple sump or the cheapest way in my opinion is the fuji cube yeah um again definitely gonna keep salt water but um i'll get back onto the topic obviously i'm not used to having 14 people in in watching the live it was designed by Stevie Wonder. It says fish tanks, but it's just in... <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's got Scarface on as well, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so the topic was is that I was saying that I've now went to Car Farm Maidenhead Aquatics, done a shop tour there. By the way, if you've checked my YouTube short, if any of the mods could drop in um, the YouTube short link in the chat... That has a Mabu Puffer. I think the title says Mabu Puffer. Um, people who are watching the live, if you're able to see that, that'd be great. Um, the Mabu Puffer, it's only a small one. It's not fully grown. But the Vala scenario, the giant Vala that was in that tank was stunning. And um, there was like a bristlenose pleco that was not afraid to get on the glass. No, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't 
Um, I haven't visited Fish Shop Matt's one. Maidenhead Aquatics in the UK is basically a franchise of multiple different fish stores. Thank you very much, JT, for putting that in the chat. Multiple fish stores across the UK. Um, but it is like, I think it's a big, it's a bit like Subway. There's a big company that owns it, but all the stores are individually owned or like by a group of people. Um, oh, that's that's cool to know that you met Matt. Um, he follows me on Instagram, I think, and I think he might be subscribed to me. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that, that's cool. And that's cool that you got to go to the shop as well. Oh, that, that that's really cool. Um, let him know that you know me. I'm sure he'll probably go, that's the annoying guy that was telling me to watch a shrimp bowl video. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's a really nice guy. I, I've been watching uh, the guy that inspired me originally to do like videos or like content was the combination of Fish Up Matt, um, Dan's Fish, Aquarium Co-op, um, MD Fish Dance, of course, MJ Aquascaping. There's all these giant youtubers but they're the main ones that come to mind um oh as well obviously fish tank review ftr uh fish for thought i think his channel name is um so what's next to the tank behind me it is a canister filter so i think i think you can't see it so yeah this is an external filter um this is a aquarium filter that is external um, it basically just filters the water and does a good job of keeping it clean i've got two filters obviously it's not the greatest external canister filter but the reason for having this filter was basically it was set up on my main tank and i used it to instantly cycle this tank so it was fish safe um but yeah, as I was saying, anyway, back to topic. I keep going all over the place. Yeah, went to Car Farm. They specialise in koi and outdoor fish and pond fish. It was really nice in there. The guys were quite chill. Um, although at first you were probably like, who's this guy wanting to film in here? Um, and yeah, they were really cool. They had some nice saltwater display um, set up, as well as saltwater fish available and corals. Um, primarily a lot of pond fish because it is in a garden center slash farm i think it is and um, again they had a nice variety of tropical fish but my main thing that i went there for is that they had um wood and rocks that i really needed and it was an absolute bargain to be honest compared to most places that i've been um, it was a lot cheaper and um I'm, i won't show the i don't have it on me the, the wood and rocks but um you'll definitely see that when the tank set up um but yeah, it was a great experience there. Definitely going to go back there. They've got some rarer fish for a cool price. 560 subs now. Wow, so we've went up almost by eight subscribers since the beginning of this very chaotic live. Um, as you can tell, I'm not used to people talking to me really, but um, lives are really good for the channel. Um, good for me to be able to speak to you directly have a bit of conversation if you want to ask questions about fish keeping related stuff and that's really cool um, and that must be eight trolls now yeah um this is the thing uh, jt when you stream or do a live vertically you get shown to a lot of people but then you always end up in the wrong like people's feed basically because because you're in youtube shorts when you when people are scrolling you'll just end up in a YouTube short like section. So it could be some kids who watches GTA or Fortnite clips and then they end up in my live and like, who is this guy with glasses with a weird funky t-shirt, tattoos and a fish tank behind him chatting waffle. So yeah, um, thank you very much, Arnold. I appreciate the support. Um, so yeah, talking about Arnold, uh, we've done a review. If you could drop that in the chat as well, uh, Arnold JTA, whoever wants to get there as quick as can, I'll give you a little race. Um, I've done a review of a Hager product. Um, it was a heater, and um, yeah, it's a really good quality heater. It gives you a live reading of what the temperature is of the tank. Definitely the best heater I've used on a fish tank so far. I've just used basic ones. Thank you very much, JT. Would I ever play Among Us with you? Sure, Sam. Definitely play Among Us. Um, I was going to actually message you the other day, but I've been 
busy as hell and when i get the time to do videos i'm kind of just tunnel vision but um yeah i'll definitely play some rocket league with you next time and uh, we can do a video for sure um i'm not a troll i know the guy chill <laughs> no problem um yeah jack is rapid you can tell that he's got a um, Oh, wow, he, he's even uh, plugging my Instagram. And I think, Jack, I know that you've, you're very busy with your own channel. Um, I don't know how long you're going to be uh, available to be a mod, but you and Arnold and uh, AV, you're more than welcome to stay mods. Uh, you can keep that privilege. I have no problem with that. But uh, you've definitely got the keyboard fingers to uh, rapidly get things put in the chat and get to whatever. As soon as I say do something, it's... It's it's the magic touch. I wish I uh, definitely wish I added mods into my channel sooner. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if you guys know a channel called um, Salient, the Salient one. Um, give him a little plug in the chat as well. Um, he's a guy that had gave me support from early on. I think he's reached 4K subscribers within like a month, which is crazy. Double double moderator setup. Yeah, um, he, he gave me some shout-outs. He um, was giving me support from early on. This is the most people you've ever had in one live since I've been watching you. Um, quite a lot of the people... I think maybe three or four of the people in here are probably friends that I know, people in real life. But um, Arnold and JT, they're friends that I've met through, obviously, um, YouTube. Um, I met you, Gate, through one of my lives. You've been supporting me for um, a short while, so I appreciate that. Um, Arnold or Kings, he's been giving me love and helped me a lot here. He got me through the door to get a higher product review, so much love. Um, much love to Lewis and Spudica and Matty as well. Everyone's been um, so supportive. Um, I kept it like quiet originally and just kind of kept my head down and was posting fish videos, but these are all like friends in real life and I think these have kind of caught on to the fact that this is something that I'm passionate about and I've been fish keeping for almost six years now but making videos for the past few months and uh, definitely want to be doing a lot more um by the way Matt indeed follow you on yeah he does follow me on insta um haven't had any apart from speaking through comments um I haven't had any um direct conversation through Instagram I'd definitely love to have a nice conversation with Matt in the future don't know if I'm on his radar yet but if I keep knocking at the door, getting more views, getting more subs, and, and I'm sure it, the fact that you know him as well, maybe one day I'll be able to sit and have a conversation with him because I really do um, like his content and he has really inspired me. I, out of him and MD, I do love MD and he is the guy that got me into making tanks a lot more. But I, I was into aquascape and watching the likes of George Farmer. I have actually met George Farmer. A really lovely bloke, great guy, um, but MD got me more so through the door in that sense. But then through MD, I've become a fan of Matt, and he is a lovely bloke. Again, he's a very busy guy, as you said, though. Um, me and Jack will be moderators until you get bored of us. Mate, I've got no problem with you being mods, and the fact that you were viewing the live anyway, um, it's a little bonus. If you just want, plug your channels in the chat. Drop your drop the link to your channels, because... Uh, you're doing me a favour here, um, being great mods and putting all the links in chat. Oh, by the way, um, my girlfriend, Mia, she put um, something in the chat, uh, but she's in the bedroom with the cat because the cat has been causing nothing but mayhem since it's been alive. Joseph, would love to meet you in person, but I live in the US. You know what, Joseph? Um, I've got ideas when the channel gets bigger. I'm definitely going to be going over to Canada to meet AV. Again, I've met him in person before. Um, speak to him daily and uh, I'll definitely be doing a collab with him in Canada, and then maybe when I'm over them ways, I might also go to America and uh, do some videos there. But of course, channel is very, well, it's not very small, but we're getting there. It's going to take a while, and when there's enough fund and when there's a lot more people in, and there's a lot more fans, then I'll definitely do some um, collabs and go over to the, the States and go over to Canada, and then... Um, but yeah, what's it called? Um, I'm doing a giveaway right now. Yeah, so everyone check out JT. He is doing a giveaway. Give him some love. Uh, Kings Aquariums and Ant World, who is Arnold, go give him some love. Check him out as well. Um, two great people that have um, 
well, I met JT, had a nice conversation with him on his live. I was making the last video, the product review, um, popping in and out of the chat and subscribe to him. And he's on 5,000, so keep showing him support. I think he is younger than me. Um, so, yeah, show, him, show, show that young fish keeper some love. Um, hearts going crazy, yeah. Um, Mia, are you spamming the hearts? Mia! I think she's got her headphones on. Wow, you're 17. Well, congrats to you, mate. Um, from what I've seen on your channel and uh, what you posted and what you speak about, you've got quite a lot of knowledge for someone your age. So, uh, big props to you, mate, honestly. Um, but, yeah, uh, again, um, much love to Kings and um, also JT. But, yeah, I'm going to crack on. We're having a bit more whiskey whilst we're here. 10 likes, by the way, 10 concurrent views at the minute we've had 16 as our highest by the way if you have any fish keeper friends by the way jt arnold um send my live to them get some people that haven't seen my face um in here i'd like to make more friends maybe some more new mods so um you don't have to occupy your time being mods unless you like it then you can stay as long as you want but yeah um mia is um by the way, if everyone could uh, spam the heart emoji in the chat, by the way. Um, yeah, sure. Right. Everyone um, spam the heart thing in the ch bottom of the chat. If I get a 1,000 subscribers, I'll get a fish tattoo. Sure, Sam. By the way, Sam, um, I'm going to be going Blackpool very soon. Um, I've met friends with a guy on Instagram who um, met me through... Fish up Matt's comment section. I was uh, speaking to Fish up Matt, and um, I was like leaving comments back and forth. He went and followed my uh, Instagram, and I'm gonna be going over there. And when the week that I'm setting up my new tank, I'm also gonna be going over to his and um, aquascaping a tank for him. So when I'm in Blackpool, if you want to meet up, I think that's gonna be on the yeah on the eighth of April. I'm gonna be in Blackpool. So if you want to see me before or after work, then um. Sure. Oh, yeah, the police are coming here. Um, the fish keeping. Uh, you want to know what them police are? They're the Pleco police on Facebook forums. As soon as you mispronounce what the name of a Pleco is, they come for you. They boot down your door and they, they drag you away. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. Um, bro got something illegal. No, I just mispronounced the Pleco and now the Pleco police are after me. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be getting a fish tattoo. I'm at, when I get 900 subscribers, uh, subscribers, I'll do a poll on my community page um, and people can vote. I'll do Crebenzis, Epistogramma, and uh, what else? Mini Snowball Pleco. So they're the three fish that I'll probably put in there, but maybe my, uh, my taste will change. Oh my God, there we go. Everyone go in mods, uh, Arnold, JT, Give a shout out to the Scouscaper, um, another person from when I first started YouTube who gave me some love. He's a fellow Scouser. If you don't know him already, he makes competition style aquascape and tanks. Um, he, if you could give him a plug to his YouTube channel. And if you have, if you check, if you search him up on Instagram, if you could drop him in the chat as well, please go give him a follow. He makes really good aquascapes. He's gave me some advice with escaping tanks. Um, and yeah, he's great. He's gave me some... I've harassed him a little bit about some fish keeping advice, but he's helped me out a lot. So thanks a lot. And uh, go give him some love. Um, Pleco. Creepy black fish. Um, are you on about the ghost knife fish? I don't know what fish you're on about, Gert. Um, but yeah, Joseph, I appreciate you giving all your support. As always, appreciate everyone in here. Um, much love to everyone. Uh, we are almost 50 minutes in, still 10 views, 11 likes. Um, and yeah, it's been amazing. Um, no worries, mate. I honestly appreciate uh, everything that you've done for me early on. I, like, I remember um, the first conversation we had over Instagram. You were telling me I'm the first other scouser that you've heard by yourself. You used the word aquascape. I'm injured, but just a little scape there today. 
um that's great to hear that you've you've still managed to set up a skate by the way i really um give you props for that mate your your skates are beautiful like if you look at his instagram i think you've already plugged them yeah um his skates are absolutely gorgeous very professional level he he enters competitions um again high-tech setups if you're into that but uh my, my fish keeping style is is i like something that looks gorgeous beautiful but i also like it to be you know good for the fish so it's a hybrid of being something that is beneficial for the fish but also is really nice aquascape too um lad i'm gonna have to go bed lots of love keep grounded thanks a lot sam i appreciate being in here um i'm off adam see you later matty appreciate you as both lads um unsure if lewis is gone he sent me some messages on snapchat i don't know if um he is off as well um Ha ha ha, Arnold. Um, sorry, I just need to scroll up. Jack, your, <laughs> Jack, your fish room is flooding. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lewis, I'm not sure what you've sent me, but I'll check it after the live. I appreciate you uh, being in here. I appreciate everyone being in here that are friends in person, that have met through YouTube, Instagram. It's very weird, isn't it? Like, if you're a gaming YouTuber or if you're, like, a, a like smaller creator in, like, another industry or like sector of youtube nobody really talks to you and it's very tight like it's very closed off and only when you get bigger people start talking to you but like since day one i've had like support from like the likes of scouscaper um from people that subscribe to me um yeah don't want to get emotional but it's it's really really heartwarming and um, the fact that like i've said this every live almost now but I've been keeping fish for over five years now. Kept it as like a hobby. Um, yeah, sure. Lewis, if you want to be my cameraman um, on the 8th, if you want to come with me and uh, help me film on the 8th, you can do. You're more than welcome to. I'm going Blackpool, so there's your little opportunity. Um, but yeah, I've been keeping fish now for over five years. Um and I've only been making... I actually started making videos when I had, like, lung problems. I was really ill. My oxygen level dropped and I was off work for over a month. The longest I've ever been off work. And um, it was, really, it was like, a difficult time. But uh, I started making my... Like, my first video, if you drop it in the chat, one of the mods, whoever gets there first, I'm sure JT or Jack is going to definitely throw it in first before Arnold. Poor Arnold, you've been doing a good job, mate. <laughs> um but yeah uh, it, it was my first video um it was just fish tank community uh, whatever it was and um basically it was just um me talking about my tank what the inhabitants were what the setup is what i've done to a flu of flex mate you're rapid you're on fire um where do i work i work for lego that is my job i am a retail assist assistant at lego and that's uh, my job it is a very busy job. It's quite intense. It's retail. It's in a busy area too. But um, everyone there that I work with is lovely and uh, the lovely people. Um, met some great friends there already. I've been there for almost nine months. Um, but of course, YouTube hopefully one day will become my job. Uh, that's everyone's dream at the end of the day. It's actually not your first ever video. Oh, um, so I'll clarify that. Um, my first ever video was a interview on a shop that I used to work for named Premier Aquatics um, by the owner Steve Chester. Uh, but that video was never actually meant to be the first video on this channel. This channel was just kind of a channel set up and I uploaded the video on there. So it, this wasn't originally meant to be a fish keeping channel. It was just like a little YouTube channel that I threw together. It was like almost a burning YouTube. I threw it together and it was left abandoned um, because I used to have a gaming channel called A117. I won't finish the name because I don't want you finding it. But, um, yeah, basically, this was... Um, th that was my first ever video. That I was in university and um, I was a fish keeper. I wanted to make a documentary slash interview for a small business, which I did. And um, it was a good way to portray the channel. Um, nice to see you, Koki. Um, what fishes do I have? I have, in this tank, I have two Nanakara... Anamola, I think that's pronounced right. Um, six Beckford pencilfish, 
one panda gara and a bulldog pleco that you cannot see because it likes harden. Um, oh, DBLE, nice to see you, my friends. We've got all the people popping in tonight. Cheers, bro. Got slip. See you later, Get Nice nice for you to pop in. Appreciate you uh, tuning in and um, being part of the lab. In the tank in my house, I have a Pistogramma Hongshloi. I have seven Raccoon Tetra. I have three Gold Laser Corridoras, three Stairby Corridoras, one Whiptail Catfish, a Mini Snowball Pleco, and a Clown Pleco. Um, yeah, quite a busy tank. That's why there's an upgrade. Um, I have 20 Total Fish. I think in this tank there is... Six, seven, eight, nine... I think there's like 11. There isn't many in here. Oh, the two dwarf cichlids, I want them to breed. So that's why I'm not going to add any more fish. Might add... Oh, thank, thank you for subscribing, by the way, Koki. Um, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, as someone put in the chat earlier as well, if we get 1,000 subscribers, I'll definitely get a tattoo of a fish. Do you know good fish to keep an angel fish? Um... My advice to you with angelfish is get them whilst they're small in the juveniles and grow them out. Because if you get a bigger angelfish, the likelihood is, it, if it's in a smaller tank, it'll be territorial. Um, and if it's also big and you put a slimmer body tetra, like a neon in there, most likely it's going to become a snack. Uh, Scouscaper changed the name of the channel a couple times and the Insta as well. Uh, yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, as soon as, you know, uh, everyone's put the links in the chat. I think it still sends people to your Instagram and YouTube, so it's completely fine, mate, honestly. Um, but, yeah, if you... I know that uh, Arnold keeps angelfish, so, Arnold, if you want to drop some suggestions on what fish to keep with angelfish, I've never kept angelfish before, but I do know Neon's a lovely snack to angels. Um, don't forget me when you hit one mil. If I ever hit one mil, I'll I'll keep you in mind, mate. I'll keep all of you in mind. I have Angelfish 2000. What's your advice then, JT or Jack? Jack? J? I think it's Jack. Yeah, it's Jack. Both of you put advice on what um, school and fish are great compa compatible or companions for the angels. I think... Um, I've got fish in mind, but I don't know if it's right. I've got two tanks. Aquariums, animals, and me. Nice to see you in here as well. I believe you've uh, gave me some support on videos and lives as well. By the way, um, I'm not sure the current sub count at the minute. I keep saying um because I don't know what to say because I'm kind of like shocked because we've got so many people in. Uh, in and out, different people, people that are subscribed to me, people that sub to your channels as well. Pretty much angels can be kept with a lot of fish as long as they're not too small. Angels will eat them when fully grown. Yeah, also advice as well, you don't want something that can fin nip as angel fish have longer fins. So they could also be a target as well. But I'm sure angel fish can be a little robust and hold themselves. 161, thank you Arnold for letting me know that. What are your thoughts on the reptile community? I think the re I, I'm not a part of the reptile community. <laughs> Mia's text me, by the way, can't she? Yeah, you can use your hair dryer. You should be okay. Yeah, um, I'd definitely like to keep bearded dragons or um, little geckos. That's definitely something that I'd like to do in the future. I believe, again, if you drop AV Scape's channel in the chat, there's a potential that he's going to be setting up a paladarium with a with fish below and they're going to be archer fish with like geckos on the top or lit or a uh, crest of geckos i think it is yeah not sure if that's going to actually happen but um yeah that there's a potential that that's going to be a video i would recommend leopard gecko uh, so any bottom dweller cories mid-range yeah yeah that that's some good advice definitely I had a bad fish, he killed two of his fish. What type of fish was it that um, killed your fish? Yeah, everyone make sure to go subscribe if you like geckos or lizards. Got to go, see you next year.
I upload videos and shorts, so make sure to check them out. See you later, Koki. Um, yeah. I feel like I waffle for ages sometimes. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm going to probably prop us up. Yeah. Uh, I gonna head out. Talk to you about Blackpool stuff later. Much love. See you later, Lewis. Thanks for joining in on the live. Right, I'll um, I'll show you this real quick. So there is my male Nanakara Animola. So this is interesting. Since you're doing the vertical live, it means that you get picked up in the short feed too. So you have a reach of a lot more people. Yeah, um, this is the thing, Jack, that I was saying earlier. Um, when you're in the short feed, you end up in the... Like, yeah, th this is why there was a lot more trolls because you end up in the short feed. So when people are scrolling through, they'll find a live. So there's a lot more reach, which is good. Um, but it's a annoying thing, obviously, which is why it's good to have mods. And that's why I've gave you some privileges in this live. Don't judge me, lol. If you know for goldfish, the common goldfish, how long did he live? I have five of them with a pleco. Um... Yeah, so I, I'll actually tell you this. Um, I used to have a goldfish that was passed down through the family. Um, so it was in a nursery. Then it was passed down to my brother's nan. Um, she's not my nan. And then she passed it to us. In total, the goldfish lived for 25 years. And it was like this big. Now, I don't agree with goldfish being in bowls or small tanks. But this goldfish lived in a bowl. And it did get upgraded to bigger bowls over the years. It lived for 25 years in a fishbowl, which is mental. I don't, th this proves how hardy they can be, but also like they deserve a better life. And obviously, I was a kid. Um, so, you know, uh, if I knew better, then it would have been a better habitat. As you can see, now I make sure that fish are definitely in better habitats. But uh, that's cool to know that you found me through shorts, by the way, Joseph. Here why you can't keep fish. Um, yeah, so I agree with you, JT, on you can't keep fish in bowls. Actually, it depends. If it's a large bowl, like a big giant one, then I guess you could keep some chili raspberries in as long as it's heated. But even then, it's questionable. Um, I'd probably say, in my opinion, shrimp only. Yeah. So at the minute, um, I've cleaned this super fish filter earlier and the dwarf cichlid right here is, has found some food or something in the filter and it is pecking away at it. I have a 40 gallon, but they don't stop growing. Um, yeah, Andy, in my opinion, if you want to give them a proper home, you either upgrade to a very large indoor tank or you upgrade them to a pond. Um, I think goldfish are part. Goldfish are part of the carp family, and if you see video, I seen a video. If you could find it, JT, you've done amazing as a mod so far. Um, there is a video of a woman feeding her crocodile, pet crocodile or alligator, goldfish. Now the video is absolutely crazy. It's somewhere somewhere in america where there's a lake where someone had released goldfish into it and they've polluted the lake like they've overpopulated and all of them are about this big like bigger than my head and all you can see in the video is just like a massive school of goldfish swimming around in this lake and th this is like the reason why they shouldn't ever be released in the wild and they should even be kept in giant ponds uh, not giant in ponds or very large tanks with massive filtration as goldfish produce so much waste they're constantly eating so they're, they're always producing waste and that's the issue with them wow i think you did find the video yeah that's the issue goldfish um i think that even in ponds in the uk that they, they basically dig up the bottom of lakes and they uh, destroy the ecosystem pandagara is doing on cleaning duty by the way Nice to see that he's doing a good clean of the tank. He's doing the algae eating. 
Um, by the way, this is a cool thing. If you can see that pencil fish right there, um, this is an example of what I'm going to be talking about in the tank update for this. But uh, pencil fish actually eat algae. Um, I've been watching my pencil fish eat algae off the wood and rocks, which is very weird, but interesting to know. Wow, that's a shot and a half. Look at that. Everyone put in the chat if you are happy with um, this camera angle. Yeah, I used to keep the Equis pencil fish in my main tank, but um, after keeping these Beckford pencil fish, I definitely want to keep more types of pencil fish. 100% want to keep red corals, but um, they are quite expensive in all fairness. I think they're like £12.95 a fish. I see in them one, please. Okay, all right. I'm glad you just like the camera angle. It's a nice, natural-looking camera angle. Um, although... We are kind of missing out on our compadre here, who is uh, always the star of the show. If you have, I've made a video. If you could drop that in the chat, um, anyone that hasn't kept a pandagora, um, they're a great algae eating fish, and they're always active and they're relatively peaceful as well. So, yeah. Nice to see a heart spam going in the chat. Great stuff, guys. Oh, and there he goes. Yeah, so my girlfriend's using a hairdryer, but it's very quiet, so there's no problem on that. Um, thank you very much, JT. I think uh, I think Arnold's given up on posting links in the chat. <laughs> Just for the fact that you're so rapid, mate. Again, credit to you. You're, you're speedy Gonzalez with this stuff. Um, just realised I need to mod myself. I need to mod as fast as yourself, <laughs> mate. Um, you, you would be more than welcome to be a permanent mod, but I know you've got a channel of your own to run, and same with yourself, Arnold. But uh, it's always handy having mods in, and after this live, um, the way it's managed the chat, and um, again, obviously when I talk about something, you put a link in the chat. That's really helpful and handy so it's definitely something that i'm going to be doing in the new not in the near um for the foreseeable future yeah but uh, i'll give you some updates since you are all in the live and you've already seen the tank at this point you're going to see the video but um but yeah um here you go so here's an update red tiger lotus it has taken off. I've kept this plant before. It's grown quite well. Never this well. Look at the root system on that. It's went right the way down from there. And it is spreading all the way round. But this is my advice if you've never... Uh, thanks a lot, Scouscaper. I'll definitely check that out on Instagram of uh, the preview as well. <laughs> By the way, Arnold, there's a fish floating in your time. <laughs> Great banter, guys. Um, yeah, look at him. I don't know what he's found underneath there. That's so tasty to him. Oh, oh, I've now realised why he's pecking away. I haven't... F so my girlfriend has been... She stayed over at mine last night, and obviously I've now travelled over here to do the video and the live. So I actually need to feed the fish. Um, she told me to feed them earlier, so yeah, let's get feeding. Um, so I did, did buy some more fish food for this tank, but currently at the minute, this is what we're feeding. Uh, we're feeding some Hikari algae wafers, great stuff, and uh, Probiotic Tropical by NT Labs, which is a great UK brand. So let's get feeding. Oh, also, by the way, this is how you can tell that we've tried to cap proof um, a bit of salt tape here. Yeah, we're getting some live fish feeding, so I hope he's excited to see it. Um, it looks like Joseph is very excited to see it. Right, so let's get a bit of this. I think that's more than enough. Oh, that's a cat here. We don't want that in there. Right. There you go. 
so they're little pellets and bites uh, the pencil fish can eat them um and pencil fish are meant to be top feeders but these don't really care and let's drop this algae wafer in now now here's the cool thing as well all the fish in this tank love algae wafers i don't know why um but they do well no it's not live fish feeding but you're feeding the fish but you're feeding flake food to your fish love Got a love NT product. Yeah, if I could one day get sponsored by NT Labs, um, that would be great. Um, I believe, Arnold, you said that there is a company that may be uh, getting in contact with me on a product review, so that would be cool to do because um, I want to be trying different fish foods, see how the fish love them. Uh, I'll drop this uh, broken wafer in real quick. I'm going to break it up into three sections. One, two... There you go. The, the fish in here absolutely love algae wafers. Yeah, clover leaf. Um, they haven't got in contact with me yet, but if they do, um, I'll definitely be bringing a product review on their fish food, and that would be very cool. So, yeah, look, the pencil fish right there is hovering around the algae wafer. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's the female, Nanakara. She's quite shy, but uh, she's beautiful in her own right. She's got some great colours. If you've ever seen Zebra Akara, um, the gorgeous fish, she's coming right the way out now. So as you can tell, her fins are only just healing up. Obviously, she's been in a bit of a battle with the male Nanakara, but uh, yeah, yeah, them fins are definitely healing up now. There was a big chunk missing out of that back fin. Yep. Pencil fish here, nomming away on the NT Labs. It's great to see. He's always eating as well, the male. Stunning as well. If you've never kept these dwarf cichlids before, I'd highly recommend them. Um, they're quite similar to Pistogramma. They're quite similar to... Uh, I wouldn't say similar to Crebentis. I think they're more of like a um, mouth feeder, like they'll sift through the sand. I know the Nanakara and Apisto do and the Rams, but like they especially like scoop up the substrate of Pistos and reorganize your tank for you. Yeah, gorgeous looking fish. Have you got it? Have you got any um five k subscriber celebrations at all planned, Jack? I know that you're doing a giveaway, but have you got uh, anything else in the pipeline? How far am I with my watch hours? Um, my issue with my watch hours at the moment is that we are, I think I'm on 110 hours, and I think you need 3,000, which is crazy. What am I going to do if the Nanakaras breed? Um, I'm just going to let natural selection take its course. Um, they can get a little territorial, uh, but they won't... I've like done quite a lot of research on them. They won't like kill the other fish. They'll just kind of push them to the other side of the tank, a bit similar to Crobenzas or Angels. But I'm going to let them breed, and if the fry survive, then I'll definitely be selling the fry on, or I'll be... a uh, Wanting to sell them to shops or rehome them somewhere, but it'll definitely be cool to have cichlids breed. I've never kept like I've had cichlids breed, but lay eggs, but they've never actually um had fry in the tank. I think the only things that I've ever bred and had babies for me have only ever been saw tails, which is funny. Um, I've got fire bread. Oh, see you later, Joseph. Thanks for joining. Uh, take care and have a good night, day, wherever oh, you're in the US. So have a good rest of your day. Take care now. Um, yeah, so I'll get I'll get back down to business anyway. It feels like we've gone a lot more relaxed, a lot more chill, um, a lot more out of... Um, I don't know. We've kind of went a bit off the rails, haven't we? Just kind of talking about here, there, everywhere. So I'll... Uh, I'll, f I'll finish up the live by talking about what's to come anyway with the channel. So with the channel at the moment, um, we're aiming to get 600 by the end of the month. 
sorry, no, by the end of next month, um, with the way the channel's going, I think that's definitely possible. Um, we won a thousand by the end of the year. That's um, my main prime goal for this channel is to get to a thousand by the end of the year. Um, and then after that, hopefully we'll be earning some kind of income or maybe donations or whatever. At some point I'll be able to create memberships and stuff like that. So that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, basically I want this to be a way of paying for, I want the hobby to pay for itself and doing YouTube and making content is a way of doing that for me. But as well, eventually long-term goals, I want it to, you know, possibly be a job for myself, which would be a cool thing. But um, that is probably a long, good bit away from now. Um, but the plans are anyway in the what's coming up. We've got a fish shop tour of the car farm, Maidenhead Aquatics, coming out next week. We have a video tank update on this coming out this week. Um, we have the week after. Yeah, so the week after next, the week after next, we're going to have a, yeah, it's going to be the tank setup, my tank setup. So I think that might be it. I'm debating because I'm going to be filming a tank setup for, for the guy in Blackpool who's a friend of mine called Harry. Shout out to him. I don't have any links or socials for you to put in the chat. Um, but yeah, he's only been keeping fish for six months and he has better aquascapes than I've done. So uh, props to him. But he wants me to go over there. Um, he breeds Corys and a lot of fish. So that's cool. He's not like doing it as a profit thing. The fish are just genuinely breeding in his community setup. So that's really cool. Um when you get the shop lad, I'll hire. Mate, 100%, 100% I'll, uh, I'll be there for you. If, if there's a job there going, mate, I'm on it. Uh, 100% and I'll be making content alongside. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm going to be setting up an aquascape and videoing that in his place, but I'm also going to do a little tour of all of his tanks and the breeding he's been doing over the past almost a year um, that he's been doing it. Um, you'll have to keep yeah 100% mate I'll do a tour of your fish room that'll be a video in the future as well um, many ideas that I want to be doing um, I'll get on to that in a moment I'll just finish this timeline so I'll be setting up that tank slash fish room tour then I'll be also doing a I think a shrimp bowl update will be coming as well obviously I've added 10, sh 10 shrimp to the bowl so that's a lot um, and a lot of things have grown in and happened with the bowl, so I'll be giving a short update on that. And then finally, the big one, which is my new main tank. It's the Super Superfish Scaper line, not Scaper, Superfish Scaper 90. So it's a 90 litre fish tank, 33 litres larger than my tank. Oh, that's cool to know, JT, by the way, you're from the Netherlands. Um, I'm actually planning potentially in june to be going amsterdam so uh that's a uh, that's definitely something hey mate you can be paying uh, with, with your big amount of subscribers i'm kidding um but yeah i know i know in the netherlands there is so much like going on in the fish keeping world there's so many um aquascaping youtubers um events competitions and fish going like fish related stuff over there so Definitely want to be checking that out if I do go over to Amsterdam. Obviously, not just going there for um, a whiff. <laughs> I want to go there as a little bit of a holiday as well. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the timeline of the channel at the moment. Um, gonna, and then I think after all that, there may be another fish shop tour. So we've got two fish shop tours coming, two tank setups coming, two tank updates coming. So that's around... Six videos coming out, like, in the pipeline that are already lined up, which is great, which I've never had that amount. But then after all that, then there could also be more tank updates. Then there could be more uh, tank updates on maybe this or whatever. There's a lot of videos coming out in the pipeline, in the works. I'm probably going to stick to one a week just because of the fact that I don't want to run through everything and then I'll have nothing to upload. I'm doing one upload a week, daily shorts, um weekly lives maybe once or twice a week depending on how i'm feeling if i'm free and uh yeah that'd be cool to visit yeah one day for sure um visit 
you as well Arnold and um, again if you get a shot going Skeeper or lad <laughs> I keep calling you Skeeper uh, the scout Skeeper for everyone else um, yeah that's kind of what's happening at the moment uh, future plans I want to be doing fish room tours um, I want to be doing Q&A's like you've done Jack um, that's a thing that I've tried to do a couple of times but nobody votes in the polls so what I've been doing is uh, I've been doing daily polls on like people's favorite fish getting them voting getting them interacting with the community page and um, getting them used to interacting with polls so when i do release a poll um or like a thing where i want people to comment and ask questions for q a then i'll definitely be doing that i want to do more educational videos on like uh, top five fish top five uh, plants i've already done but other things and uh, thanks for joining anyway jack uh, we're just finishing off the live now anyway but um yeah, it's it's definitely um a great place to be at the moment in this fish keeping world. The support's been amazing. Everyone in here has been great. Arnold, thank you very much again for getting me through the door with these companies and uh, getting some reviews and relationships going. I appreciate that. Um, it's great to see you in here, JT or Jack, and I appreciate you moderating and uh, being snappy as hell. Um, and yeah, we've had a great live today. More content coming soon. Video probably out tomorrow, the day after. Um, and I appreciate everyone being in here. Um, it's been a 81 minute live. We've now died down to four people, probably my girlfriend, probably Jack, probably Arnold, and then um, one other person, probably, I don't know who. Oh, uh, cred boy, did I miss it? Um, yeah, unfortunately, pal, uh, we're just ending now. Um, the whole live will be on my channel, so if you want to check it out, you can do. Um, but yeah, we're going to be ending it there. We've done a great live, had a great... A lot of interaction a lot of new subscribers if you haven't su subscribed already make sure to su subscribe to my channel make sure to share my channel with your friends get me through the door get more people in and um, i appreciate it very much the goal of a thousand doesn't look so far away now we're over halfway there we're growing quickly love you all thanks a lot take care see you later